with Uncommon Fossil, and today presenting an updated Mewtwo EX deck. Right, I did did recently a video on the starter deck. Mewtwo EX is potentially very good. Photon Kinesis for two psychic energy does 10 damage plus 30 more for each psychic energy attached to all your Pokemon. So we need to get a lot of psychic energy in play. The starter deck uses a Zatu engine, which also accelerates energies, right? With clairvoyant sense, attach a psychic energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon, draw two cards. So you draw cards as well as accelerating. That's good, but it's really not enough acceleration, I don't think. So I have put in a Clefairy, and I put in a, a four of Clefairy. It's a basic Pokemon that has the moon watching party ability and this can flood the board with energies really fast. Once during a turn at this Pokemon in the active spot, for each of your bench Clefairy, you may assert your deck for a psychic energy card, attach it to that Clefairy, then shuffle your deck. So you get a Clefairy in the active, you get at least say two energies in play, switch to another Clefairy maybe, get another two, and then swing into your Mewtwo, do big damage. But even if you just get like two extra e energies on a couple of your early turns, right? You're getting another like four energies in play early on. It works really well with this deck. So Clefairy makes it good. It's, it's a bit hot. This deck's a little high roll. Setting up is, you know, you're hoping to set up. Sometimes you don't. But when you do, you're really loving life. And then kept the Enamorous V in the deck. I've kind of had it in and out. Guardian of Love is nice. for it affects your opponent's Pokemon's abilities. Done to each of your Pokemon has a psychic energy attached, except for Enamorous V. That part's unfortunate. But it means if as you, as you get these energies on Clefairies, energies on Zatus, uh, you're protected from the Dusknar, which can be important. So I'm keeping it in the deck. And, um, you know, this is one that's been in and out, so I'm not certain about it. I, um, but look, your opponent, if, if, if you're up against the Dusknar deck and they want to use Dusknar, they can take it out with Enamorous V. They can take out your Enamorous V with the Dusknar, but they're having to use two Dusknars to do that, and I don't mind that. It's better than getting these Clefairies with a bunch of energy, Zatus with energy, and that's your engine. So it's been working pretty well. Uh, playing 13 energies, want a, a high number of energies because I need to accelerate them both from the deck with Clefairy, and I need them in hand with Zatu. So you need above average energy. So 13, I had 12. 13 I'm finding to be a pretty good number. I'm getting energy pretty consistently. So I, I like this. You could cut it, obviously, for some more supporter consistency trainers, but then I think you're going to struggle some having energy when you need it. So anyway, getting into the decks, I'll hit the supporters because this is where the deck is thin. I'm playing four Iono and two Youngsters. You know, everyone knows Iono. You, you probably know what Youngster is, but it, it, if you're not, look, what it does is another supporter. You shuffle your hand in your deck, you draw five cards. I've considered Judge, which you both, you know what that does. That 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 is an option or research, maybe research should replace it. I'm not sure that, I, uh, that I'm that i thrilled with the discarding that much with this deck, but um, playing Youngster at this point would like a, some more supporters for consistency. I don't play boss, I just don't have the deck space, I will say, so that's unfortunate. All right, so what do I have here? Um, getting Pokemon to play. play. I have four Buddy Buddy Poffin, because we need the, the Natus and the Clefairies, this gets them in play four Nest Balls for the Mewtwo's as well as the Enamorous or something else. That's good. I want to see a Heavy Ball just to get a basic from the, the prizes into play. Very good. Like, like you need to get this, a bunch of Clefairies down. It's good for that. If you need Enamorous V, you need to get that in play. So I think the one Heavy Ball is good there. Pokemon Recovery, two Night Stretcher. Night Stretcher is really good in a deck like this. Put a Pokemon or basic energy from this probably into your hand. So get a Pokemon back and or an or an or not and or an energy they both have value there two uh super rods as well maybe go to one super rod in this deck you could do that if you want to also there's some other card you want to put in cut cut the rod i would say um and four ultra balls right we need to get the zatus in play and something else so or some so so ultra ball is really good two earthen vessels to get energies in play uh, we play four switch cards as well as prime catcher. No boss. We do have prime catcher, but the, the, it plus you switch yourself, which is good. And of course, switch just switches yourself. And with the Clefairies, we need to be we need to play a couple switches over the course of the game. Probably, you know, in a typical game, you're going to get to switch maybe twice. I would say so. Plan on getting like four inches into play with the Clefairies, yeah, but that gets you what an extra. 120 damage and that that will get you off into what you need to be doing the damage you want so one exp share a good tool there uh two earthen vessels four of the areas here are under depths i mean two sorry two I've, I've had three at one point down to two um consider cutting it too it, it does have value um but it does get bumped too right um and then you, sometimes it's, it's bad but look what happened the reason why i like it in the deck is i 
if you can get all four Clefairies down and a couple Natsus down and you want like a Mewtwo on the bench, that's all good, right? So having extra bench space is useful so you can flood the board with energies. And if you get an Amorous V, then you've protect, got some la a layer of protection on all these bench Pokemon, get your energy spread out. It's a very fun feeling there. Uh, what else do I have? I think that's all the trainers that I'm looking through the list. So, you know, I, I will say one thing with this. I'm really liking Nets, Night Stretcher in form, especially the Night Stretcher Super Rod combo is really good. And it's a matter of for different decks what the mixture is. I This, you know, a lot Night Stretcher for, is a lot of times better than Rod in some ways, but you really want both. Like I said, you could cut one Super Rod. Getting some more supporters in the deck would be good because that's one of the, that, the issues. The deck struggles some to set up. So... Um, just, just think about that. That would be the area of change. But um, the deck's been, you know, when it gets going, it's good. It, 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 it's a lot of fun. But at times, it will struggle to, to, to get going. Let's go take a look at the deck in action and see what type of luck I'm having today. All right, see what happens here. We'll love to go um, first, if I can. I haven't won a coin toss yet today. I've gone second every game. I've been up against Terrapagos every game, which in some ways is um you know an amorous v because they play dust star sorry so then the enamorous v definitely can, can bring value but i've got to set up and when a traffic goes goes first they set up really well um that's what i'll say and uh so it, it hasn't been good from that regard so uh i don't know if i'm first or second i'll find out shortly once my opponent says done all right the time the timer will start so okay so luke yeah i'm going second again um, so I don't need an Amorous V this game, so that's one thing to pay attention to. Um, so I can get, so Buddy Buddy Poffin for two Clefairies, play the Switch, send up a Clefairy, get two energies, get one, I can get one energy in play, which isn't great, but it's better than none, plus, um, it protects my Mewtwo EX. I'll, look, I am a Lightning Pokemon. Uh, Lugia is weak to Lightning, so that's really good. So I don't need as many Lightning energy to take the knockout. You know, because I have two attackers with the Clef Clefairy, I have a Psychic attacker as well, a single prize attacker, which is nice, and it's a Psychic type, so it gives me a different weakness to hit for as well. So it, it gives the deck a little more versatility. Um, this deck does lack consistency some. Okay, getting rid of the iron hands is good for me um okay so torrential pump can smack my bench so like potentially can take two prizes don't love that so okay getting rid of an energy you know special energies are you know something important to pay attention to they only have to get rid of one though so that's fine for them um so just kind of waiting as they go through their steps um, I, I don't know. I've been very impatient these days with Pokemon. I, I don't know where you're at with it. I just find I'm not, I'm really getting bored, not enjoying waiting for my opponents to finish their turns. Um, I don't know why. Um, are the, have the turns gotten longer? Some of them have, I think, with um, the Tropagos deck. The turns, you know, there's a lot, they make a lot of decisions on a turn. And this for a first turn, you know, your first turn going first, it's taken a fair amount of time, right? It's going to take them. Um, like two minutes, which which is you know I I know it's it's not that long, so I'm probably being just I'm just in a bad mood probably, and overly sense you know once you're upset about something you just notice it and get get bothered so, um you know so part of it's the animation speed too right they're over you know, um so anyway so uh, we'll get there I'll get to my turn soon I think I hope I don't have any way to exert energy to actually take a knockout this turn. I will... Well, Mesa Goza would be good, actually, right? Is there a reason not to drop down the Natu? That's something to think about as well. So I want to get down a Clefairy. The Enamorous, I don't think, will help um, at all. So and I don't have any bench protection from... Uh, all right, so... Let me draw... Oh. Well, that's not good. Um... That's that's bad. Okay, so two Clefairies are prized, right? Which I'm not happy about that at all. Um, I might be able to get one more in play. So, do I drop down this Natu? That's the question, right? I'm going to set up 
I get one energy accelerate, which isn't great, but it's better than none. A second Zatu next turn is good, so and I might really need that. And I'm and and since I have made since they've obliged with Mesa Goza, it gives me some access to that card. Um. Okay. Not bad. So, and I, I do have the switch card. I don't know if I really want to use it though. It gets me one more energy in play, right? And one energy is really not that huge. So I think I sit, uh, sit on the switch card. Uh, I, I'll sit on the switch card at this point in turn. So I'm just trying to think. Partly, look, it, it, assuming they if they, if they just knock out the active Clefairy using the switch card doesn't really help me. I'd rather have. I might want the switch card later in the game and I don't lose an energy with it. If they gust up the Clefairy on the bench, then um, having used the Swiss card would help because I lose an energy, right? And I didn't, and I would have had one more in play if I had switched and accelerated one more energy. Um, if I had multiple Clefairies on the bench, then I definitely would have switched. In fact, I would have, yeah, I would have dropped that second not to on the be bench. I would have, you know, if I had, um, I would have grabbed two Clefairies with the Buddy Buddy Poffin. So we'll see what they do. Are they going to, what do they want to attack with, right? They failed, that's good. What do they have, one Archaeops? They only have one Archaeops in this card pile, so that's good for me. Um, and I can, there's a decent chance I can blow them up with Mewtwo EX, right? Um, okay, so now they have two Archaeops, right? I believe they had one, right? So they're gonna use their V-Star power and they're getting the Chinchino have they played a supporter? No. And they, they haven't played an ace spec either, right? Uh, let me just, I just, I'm, try, I'm trying, the game's kind of blurred together, especially when I'm recording because my focus is very different when I'm recording. So I don't, I'm not kind of, I think what's happening is as I'm recording, since I'm commenting, I'm not recording putting the the things don't go get into my memory as well right there's the short term the long term they they interact because my attention is very different when i'm when i because i'm the commentating I, I i the details of what gets or what happens in a game get more blurred i will say all right so they're gonna i mean ideally they, they hit me with lugia and then i blow up the lugia right that would be they, they just knock out my clefairy and uh but we'll see what they do we will see what they do here um the lugia does 220 so without something to adjust the damage they do not one shot the mewtwo with their lugia um so we'll see what they do right they, they can retreat um obviously they have the, the, the lugia i mean the chinchino will one shot my clefairy right now but I think they're going to take out my active with the Lugia, and then they'll take out my Mewtwo with the Chinchino. They'll be ahead in prizes. I take, well, they take one prize. I take two. I go ahead. Then they take two. Um, okay. So now I would have had one more energy in play if, if, if I had. Um, so uh, this is really unfortunate about not having more Clefairies in play. So now. Um, I, I, I probably, you know, I, I could have sent up the Clefairy. If I get like a, a stretcher, that would have been good. All right, that, there's nothing. So at this point, I need more energies in play. I, I can get there. Maybe. I'll drop him in play. Um, the fact that I had two Clefairies prized really is means this might take me out of this game which is very unfortunate i will say very unfortunate all right so this gets me one more energy and i can expand my bench if need be um we'll see what i what i get here so um i probably if i miss the knockout i'm in a ton of trouble here and i'm missing the knockout so i am in a ton of trouble um yeah, I'm going to lose the game now. So, I mean, I'll, I'll hit do the damage, but I, I've, I've the fact that 
I've lost the game. Look, I, I can blame the game on the Clefairy. Look, I could have taken the knockout. I, it, so it was my ch decision making cost me the knockout. Um, I, I, if I had used this on my first turn, if I had used the switch card, I would have had an energy attached to Clefairy on the bench, assuming everything else happened the same way. Um, of course, we don't know, know that. First off, my opponent might have done something different. Maybe they wouldn't have bossed. So they're going to take me out, and it's just not good, right? Well, they need one more energy, but that's fine. Um, yeah, so this is not good. Um, I'll keep playing here. So I, I you know, so I, if I use the switch, and this is kind of like the game's going, going, going the wrong way for me. Probably going to be a loss. That happens. Trying to figure out, did I was my decision wrong? I know that the result wasn't what I wanted, but based on what I had knowledge at the time, right? Um, my opponent could have gone gone and decided to try to attack with Chino last turn as well. Um, so they could have done something different than they did. Um, they made a good play, so I, you know, I I I don't know. I don't know. So I will. So getting Iono, okay. I mean, that's a. I didn't have the great a great hand there. So Iono's could be good. Um, uh, I have an energy in hand. I have a switch. Okay. So I guess I have it they, since they can't one. So I'll I'll, I'll move up the Clefairy. Just get more energies in, in play here, right? Well, or would I rather have a Mewtwo in play? That, that's, I'll do this. And I will use the Clefairy and then retreat and then, um, I'll do this first. I'm just trying to think through what, how I want to sequence things. Do I do the not the Zatu first? Or the Clefairy first. It's a matter of if I get an energy out of the deck. But I like kind of like having the energy there. So let me get the Clefairy back. I have the switching card, right? That's that's partly why I'm doing it this way. Um, so I, I mean, obviously I have the easy knockout at this point. So get rid of Enamorous and get rid of I'll get rid of A-Rod. Grab Azatu. Um I'll put an energy on two. So what's in the discard pile, by the way? I'm, I'm going to use the rod after this. That That's what I was thinking, too. Do I want... Because I want a rod here, for sure. Okay, well, that's a nice get, too, for sure. So switch into the this guy. I'll take a knockout. Hopefully they can't knock me out. That, that would be big, right? And... We'll rod here because I need to get another a Mewtwo in play right next turn. So I think I I'll just sit on this hand is what I'm gonna do. I could get one more energy in play, but I don't think that's necessary. Just doing 130. Um, so not, but that's enough. So that's okay. Because I only have four energy. I could have got a fifth energy in play. Um, and I take zero prizes, so that part that's not ideal. But at least the legacy energy is gone, so. You know, I was going to have to deal with that eventually. Um, they're going to win in... Well, it depends. It depends what happens here. Um, they, they'll get down a, Minchi, a Minchino next turn, I assume. And then... Uh, but they're not going to take... A, and then, you know... So, I honestly, in a lot of ways, they want to gust up one of my guys on the bench and take a one prize this turn, then 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 take two tries in the Mewtwo. They want to end the game as quickly as possible. They can't end it this. They could end in two turns, but they need to take prizes each turn. Um, the Lugia. Um, so we'll see what happens. Like so, so the Lugia here. 
I, um, it's interesting, right? I could take out the Lugia with a Clefairy, which might be the better play. I'm not certain. I imagine they're dropping down a Mancino. That's what I don't want to see, right? I don't want to see the Mancino. They bumped their state. Oh, they have Weird Ear. Okay. Oh, Weird Ear is good. Weird Ear blows me up. So, all right. So they're going to take the knockout here and I'm going to lose the game. <laughs> I think it's pretty safe to say. Um, I, I, had, I forgot about Weird Ear, right? It makes sense that they're playing Weird Ear. Not so, once, I, once they see it, it's like, oh yeah, there's the Weird Ear. Um, I mean, look, I don't, you know, um, is what it is. And again, th these games take a long, a while. Um, so that, you know, they move the, all the energies to the weird ear. Um, I need to, what am I going to do here? I guess I send up a, a Clefairy. I, you know, I'm, I'm not altogether certain about this whole process of what I'm doing here. Um, so anyway, I mean, I'm, I'm losing. I'm pretty confident the one thing, I'm pretty confident one thing that I am losing the game. One, two, three, four, five. 200 so they're doing 180 i believe right now so they need so they need a bunch of energy this is the good news is they need a lot of these energies so they're going to be vulnerable right so i need to blow up the weird here it's it's very simple here i if i could take out the weird here they're losing a ton of energies a ton of they have six of the discard pile one and they have six watch 12 energies then the question is can can I get them in a? Are they, will they be in a spot where they can't get enough energies to, to close the game out? Um, that's my only hope. Now they only need a single prize, so they only need to get only do sixty damage on a Clefairy. Um, and have, do they have they played boss one boss? So, but you know the weirder took a lot of energy, so that's the I'm gonna send up Clefairy because you know I need I need I need energy some play. That's a given. Um, All right, I will. Let me thin things a little bit, and plus take a look at my deck too. Right, I can see all. So I have these two guys. And what do I have for energies? I have five energies. Okay, so I mean, I I I, I can't use the prime catcher. That that would be very bad, very bad. So, um. All right, so I will. In the in the in the Clefairy can't do enough damage. I'm pretty certain, no matter what happens here. So I will put one and just spread around the the, the 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 energies. Okay, so I got a youngster. I've got to get. So I'm gonna. Uh, I don't love this. Um, So I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna youngster, and I'm gonna hope. I'll get, I'm gonna ultra ball, get the Mewtwo, then I'm gonna youngster, and I have two Zatu still. I need two energies on this guy, which can happen, but oh, this is sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, so I have what I need now. I get the knockout. I'm pretty certain. Um, I, I'm not very good with this math here. Um. Heavy Ball's fine. I think it's too little too late for you, Mr. Heavy Ball. Well, let, let me play it here. All right. Is it, sorry, I'm, I'm being a little slow. So grab a Clefairy. What else am I missing? So my Tools Prize, Stadium. Okay, that's all fine. Um, if I actually draw a Stadium, well, one, two, three, four, five, right? Well, that's pretty good, actually. Not bad. So I switch. I have the knockout, right? I can get one more energy in play. So 190. So I need this energy, but that's okay. I have the energy. So that's that's nice. And boom, I take the knockout. I just got there. So that's good news. Um, and obviously having those two Clefairy Prize has been rough this game. I finally take some prizes and a lot of turns in. And the game gives me my fourth Clefairy just to mock me. Um, can they close me out, right? This is, and I don't, right, they can't close me out with the Lugia. But, um, I don't think. 
I mean, there's the tool that gives... T okay, so they're definitely not closing me out here. And they have game. They have boss, so that gives them game. So, right, I, I was, you know, I was always a boss. A boss was always going to cost me game, and it did. Um, and anyway, so I got, the, got a rough start there. And, um, you know, it just, it was definitely, you know, that's definitely a matchup that's winnable, I will say. And I don't care about the game log there. Didn't mean to click that. Just trying to figure out where the mouse was, but clicking randomly, which is never a smart play. So anyway, uh, came up short there, but definitely um, had some, you know, got to see a little bit of how the deck plays that game as well. All right, see what happens here. This this deck is it, it's been it's been giving me a struggle. I will say, um, yeah, the deck's been a struggle. It's been a struggle to develop this list, and now that I have the list that I, that I was pretty happy with going into recording, trying to, you know recording gameplay, it's gone very badly. Part of it is okay. I get to go first. This is good. I haven't won many coin tosses today. That has I've lost. You know I, I've been going second most of the time to decks that want to go first, which hasn't been good. Uh, Clefairy. Okay, it's not. That's not bad. That's. This is. This is. Okay, I can work with this. I'm uh, going up against a Ting Lu. Wow, wow. I haven't seen Ting Lu in a while, and this could be really bad for me. This could be really bad. I mean, this is going to stop me from doing. I need an Amorous V in play now, don't I? That's what needs to happen here, right? Because because then. I need an Amorous. The problem is, so if Ting Lu gets damage on my Enamorous, my Enamorous really doesn't work, right? But I don't think I have a choice about it. Right, so I gotta do these, and then do I wanna get down? Right, so let me think. Ting Lu shuts down abilities, will shut down Enamorous's ability. So, um,. So if he gets my opponent gets damage on my enamorous, I think if they don't damage my enamorous, um, the question is, uh, this is dicey. This is dicey, dicey. I'm trying to think. Do I want? I'm going to drop down a Mew EX, I think. I think that's the safer play. I'm just trying to think, how much benefit do I get from the Enamorous in this deck? And I don't know that I get enough benefit from it, right? So, so we'll see what happens here. Um, and I'm not sure with the interaction of these things that shut down abilities on both their sides, right? Uh, so, okay, what's that guy? Blood Moon Ursaluna. Okay, Gutsy Pickaxe. I'm liking this deck. Okay, Squawkabilly. So the, is this a turbo deck? Uh, how's this deck built to run? Right, is this like a turbo Ursaluna deck? Uh, I mean, the Ting Lu is very interesting. You know, Ting Lu is obviously a, a tricky card. It obviously shuts down. This is another way to shut down an Amorous, right? Um, so this is the other way. As long as it's in the active spot, your opponent's Pokemon in play that haven't any damage counters have no ability except EXs. Now, you don't shut down EXs. So that, which is a big deal, but you do shut down V's, um, you do shut down, and you shut down the dust snores. So I kind of, so it's, it's it's interesting, right? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really done Ting Lu in a while. I will say that. So I'm going to pay attention to their, my opponent's deck as well. What what cards are in it, both for the game as well as you know, is this an idea I want to explore? Right? I'm I'm not sold on Ting Lu. I will say, they might look, they might win this game. Um, partly just, you know, you know, I don't know if I'm going to get going the way I want to. I do have Prime Catcher. I do have Mewtwo. It's, it's not bad. Um, so, I mean, I can definitely take out Squat. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six times three, 180. So I'm doing 190 right now. Um, I Or potentially, right? So, okay, so I can take out the Ting Lu, hopefully. Taking out the Ting Lu would be good, right? The Ting Lu causes me grief. Uh, what did they grab back, by the way? I need to be... Oh, well, okay, I'm not taking out the Ting Lu now, am I? So the Palpad got back an Arvin and an Iono. Okay. And did they play a support? I don't think they did, did they? 
Um, no. Okay. How many gutsy pickaxes is that, by the way? Just two. Okay. So, so they so they can use squawk ability as attack. So gape jaw bog puts damage on me when I go into play. Okay. So Clefairy is well, although it doesn't it doesn't shut down the ability because Tinglu has to be in the active, right? So that's the good that's good news for me as well. Um. Okay, so maybe, maybe, maybe I can take... Can I take out a Tinglu this turn? Let's think. I have a switching card, too. That's good. So right now... Um, and, I, and I have Catcher as well, right? So... One, two, three, four, five... Um, six, seven, eight... Two, four... Uh, I'm probably coming up short, right? I need to get energy some play though, right? I'm pretty sure this is what I need to do. I could have, um, I could have hold, held off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I, right now I have access to eight of these guys. Um, eight. I could prime catcher up this Clefairy too, right? Maybe I should do that. Cause and I can hard retreat him. So I'm thinking that's my play. I really would like to take out this Ting Lu. I'm going for the Ting Lu knockout. And I can hard retreat this guy. So that's part of my thought here as well. So and he hasn't right, he wasn't damaged, so that's the nice thing. So the Ting Lu wasn't is now in the active. He shuts off any guys with abilities and damage. One, two, three, four, four. So now if I hard retreat, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, seven, I have eight. So I need, if I hit a switch card, I have knockout. So that's, you know, if I hit switch, I have knockout. Or I hit, I, I hit switch. So that is insane. Okay, so I have the knockout. Lo loving it. So, um... I could, um, I could drop down a Zatu. Maybe I should drop down Zatu as well while I'm here. Do I want the rod? I think I'm okay without the rod here. Um, let me get rid of this Clefairy. Keep the youngster. I'm not sure about that. Um, my, there is the enamorous option too. But I don't need that. I'm taking out the Ting Lu. Ting Lu's a basic, of course, so he could just slap him down next turn. So anyway, take the knockout, climb the uh, ladder, right? And I am weak to Ting Lu, so Ting Lu is actually pretty scary for me. Um, not sure if I set up the next turn properly, right? I was very worried about the Ting Lu, though. So I gu I'm guessing listen up the Squawk ability. Um, he has retreat. Can re they can retreat him for the energy. Um, they can attack and accelerate energy as well, right? So, because the Ting Lu does, yeah, the Ting Lu one shots me. So, um, so, so this is fun. You know, this is a game, and I'm doing big damage at this point. So, I have Youngster. So, I don't have, I mean, I, look, I'm in pretty good shape at this point. I think it's very fair to say. Um, drop down. We'll see what my opponent does, because I could slap I could slap down the enamor still. Right? Which I th so let me think. So if the, if I slap down my enamorous and I have the nest ball, right? They, they my opponent played gape drop bog, so if I play something from hand, it gets damage on it. But if I nest ball, which is part of why the gape drop bog is not so good now. We have Buddy Buddy Poff, and then Nest Ball is two of the big cards getting Pokemon in play. Gape Drop Bog just uh, is a lot less valuable than like the level ball quick ball um type thing uh, where that we're getting cards with it so ting lu comes back and play um which means i probably i might want to slap down the enamorous they're not going to take the knockout this turn i'm pretty certain about that um i'm not going to take i'm not going to be able to gust up and take the ko um but I already have the energies in place, so maybe I just want to slap down the Mewtwo EX, right? That's also what I'm thinking. So four, 
So, th so they give me a little poke. Um, okay. So I think I want to get my next attacker set up. That's what I'm thinking here. So let me do that. Let me get down another Mewtwo. If, if I get the stadium in play, then I will slap Area Zero under that. So then I'll slap down the Enamorous. I'm still not sure how these interactions work, you know? I'm definitely uncertain about that. So um, I, I certainly have to knock it at this point because I do I do insane, insane, insane damage at this point. So I'm just youngster. I'd love to bump the stadium still. I, it just, it'd be nice to do. Um, yeah, I'll bump the stadium. Might as well. All right, I will attach to this Mewtwo because that's good for me. I might as well play my EXP share as well, right? Just, just keep the engine going here. I will take the big KO and um, I should <laughs> I mean the damage level is, is insane right now right so I mean th this guy's weak to me so but uh, I mean I have I have just massive 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 amounts of energy um, and it's it's too right it's in it's in the energy got I got the energy in play so even so the Ting Lu really is too little too late for them um, would have slapped down the enamorous V which would have been fun to have done but I, I'm pretty sure it's okay without it um, at this point, you know, um, they can, they attack now, they do 240, they do knock me out. I just, you know, I just do the follow-up with the Mewtwo EX, and that is that, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, the only way I think I don't win this turn, let's think. So they can get rid of my stadium, or they can get rid of my tool. Um, okay, so do I not get the knockout this turn? That's a good question question so now they get rid of i assume my tool um because that's one less energy at play one two three one two three four six seven eight nine ten um i should uh, i just get there though i think i do three ten i think that plus ten is enough for me to get the knockout right whoops let's put him up and i'm pretty sure this is given i had switch as well which maybe I, sh which I'm pretty sure I was okay. So I do 310. So I scale, I hit the exact number. I could have done some work to get some more energy in play as well, but I had knockout. So um, got the win. Um, not, you know, not against the deck that I you're expecting to see very often. Um, a little concerned. Tingle pretend if they had set up, it would have been a little scary. But they, you know, they weren't. I, I was able to get a ton of energies in play before they could get things going. And when that happens, this deck is a beast. So, right? So, um, just going to give a couple thoughts, closing thoughts on the deck um, here. Look, the deck isn't as consistent as I would like. I mean, I would say that. It potentially, with the Clefairy, can turbo energies in play like crazy. Um, you can't really attack turn one. You can attack with Clefairy potentially turn one going first. Um, if you if, if things go your way, but you're not doing the big damage. You can't attack with Mewtwo EX turn one because I can't get the second energy and attached to it the way this deck is built. Um, you know, trying to find the balance between the Zatus, which I which are good, the Clefairies, the Mewtwo, and Namorous can be good. Um, I've had it in and out of the deck, I will say. You could cut it, maybe put in I don't know, another supporter. Maybe I mean you could could sorry, so what changes would I would, would I consider here? Young could youngster be replaced by something? It could. I'm not sure. I considered research in the deck. I, I'm not sure. I love that though. Um, I've considered judge. I think I'd rather see five cards with youngster than four with judge though. So I do think that is better. Um, you know you could could so you could cut the enamorous um you could go to a two two zatu line I, I don't think i'd cut it all together i've considered that as well but i think the zatu is really good either cut you could certainly cut one zatu you could even cut a natu as well that that's a thought i've done uh, I've, I've had I, I i haven't done it yet the air zero under depths i played around with the, the the numbers there it's not critical most of the time you could even consider cutting it although i do like it um, so just getting some supporters for consistency, maybe Poke Gear 3.0, just to look at your top. But there aren't enough supporters, I don't think, to make that work out. 
Um, could play boss, of course, as well. But I think if I've had more supporters, I'd want supporters to help me set up with this deck. So if it gets going, it's good. Um, if it, it, you know, it's a deck that struggles to get going. Uh, but anyway, uh, take care, have some fun, and play some Pokemon, and just let me know your thoughts about other directions for this deck or any tweaks to it in the comments below.